Greetings fellow guitar nerds and YouTube users. In today's video I'll be swapping out these two Balaguer Feral humbuckers for some new Seymour Duncan pickups in my Balaguer Tartarus 7 string guitar. And here's a little view at the control cavity so you, you guys can see what it looks like in the wiring if you would decide to order your own Balaguer guitar. And here are the pickups that we'll be installing. One is a Seymour Duncan custom shop pickup based on the Seymour Duncan 59 custom hybrid but in seven string form and the other one is the Seymour Duncan Alpha pickup which is Mark Holcomb's old signature neck pickup. So a couple helpful hints when you are installing your own pickups. If they are mounted directly to the body like this you can use a piece of foam from the box that the pickup came in to use as a spring behind the pickup. I've already done it a few times already, it actually works pretty well. Another helpful hint, if the ears of the pickup are too big to fit inside the route, you can actually use a metal file to file down the edges of the ears to make it more narrow so it will actually fit down inside. This method will definitely take some time and effort on your part though, especially depending on how dull the file is. Another option would be to use a metal grinder to grind down the sides of the ears so they become more narrow. Another option is actually to route out the wood a little bit more so it would be a bigger hole. The option I chose with the file seemed like a much safer option, a lot less chance of screwing things up, so I went with that. So after getting both pickups installed, soldered in, and the new strings put on, I noticed that the pole spacing on the neck pickup doesn't really line up with the string spacing on the guitar. And I actually do have this exact same neck pickup installed on another one of my 7-string guitars. And the spacing is not that far off on that guitar. So I was like, hmm. So I decided to go and grab the old pickup, the neck pickup that I just took out, and hold it up next to the new pickup to see if the spacing or size was really that much different. And as you can clearly see, no, they're pretty much about the same. So, yeah. And I did notice that the pole spacing slash string spacing was a little off on the bridge pickup too but not nearly as bad. So at this point I was wondering if I might have to get a different neck pickup, one with uh, better alignment for the poles and strings. So I decided to also look at my other Balaguer guitar, which is not as old, to see how the pole spacing lined up. And the pole spacing on that one is a lot more in line with the strings, still a little off, but it doesn't look nearly as bad as the other guitar. You'll see more of this guitar later on the YouTube channel coming down the pipeline. But at this point I decided to do some research on the internet and apparently you can adjust the saddles on an Evertune a little bit to um, move them a little further out or a little in depending on where they're already at. So as you can see it's still not entirely perfect. Uh, it looks pretty good on the bridge pickup but the neck pickup the pull spacing's still a little off to where the strings are at. So I decided to do a little more research on the internet and see if I could get a custom made pickup from Seymour Duncan with the right pole spacing. And apparently they only do one size of pole spacing slash string spacing on the bobbins that they use for making their pickups. So they couldn't make it according to the string spacing I wanted. But something I could do is get a blade pickup for the neck pickup uh, so I don't even have to worry about the poles and strings lining up at all. But here's a little tone test I did using the bridge pickup first using the MLC Sub-Zero 100 plugin and it sounds pretty sick.
Full disclaimer, the guitar is not fully done being set up yet. I'm just waiting to break in the strings all the way before I completely adjust the intonation and everything. But now we're going to move on to test to the Nick pickup. And there you have it. The neck pickup actually sounds pretty dang bright. Um, brighter than I remember it sounding in the other guitar I have. But there you go. Things don't always go the way you expect. I am pretty freaking stoked though on how the bridge pickup is sounding. I've actually been wanting this pickup in seven string form for many many years ever since I saw Ola England do a demo video of a Seymour Duncan 59 custom hybrid in a seven string guitar through his Randall Satan. I've been uh, very intrigued by that guitar tone ever since and I finally have my own. So pretty freaking awesome. I never thought the Bell Garrett Farrell humbucker in the bridge position sounded bad but I really wanted one of these Seymour Duncan 59 custom hybrids in a seven string guitar of mine so that's what I did. I was always having sustain issues though with the neck pickup that used to be in the guitar and I am still having some sustain issues um, with the guitar for doing leads but obviously the problem wasn't the pickup but I'm going to have to do some research see if there's a way I can uh, fix the sustain make it, the notes last longer while doing leads other than the pulse spacing and the sustain issues definitely a successful mod I really like the look of the matte black pickups with that sunburst screen finish it's just beautiful. I really love this guitar. It's definitely a great player. It's actually my favorite seven string guitar. And the name I have for it is Jalapena because it's green and spicy. And of course, you know, the guitar is female. So it can't be Jalapeno. But thanks for watching the video. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know down below what you thought of my mod project and my guitar and the toned test I did. And uh, stay tuned for more guitar content to come and even more videos with this guitar, of course. Alright, goodbye!